Call of Duty Vanguard has been out approximately 24 hours right now and also we have a giveaway running on this channel and all you have to do to enter into that giveaway to win a free copy of Call of Duty Vanguard for any platform of your choice all you need to do is hit that subscribe button and go down into the comment section and let me know that you've subscribed once you've done that you are entered into this giveaway and that is all you set for a chance of winning that free copy of the game. So in today's video, we're gonna be running over all the first kind of impressions of Call of Duty Vanguard. So obviously this video is gonna be slightly negative because this is a feedback video that they can possibly use if they might not even see this video, but here's some of the things that the community have put together and basically the majority of the people watching this video will agree on all the points that I'm gonna be saying in this one. So well, let's just start off with the guns in the game. The guns in the game are awesome. We're going back to traditional World War II kind of guns. Like we're seeing the MP40, we're seeing the STG, we're seeing the gun with a big frisbee on the top of it. All those kind of guns that we've seen in World at War, they have come back into Call of Duty Vanguard. So that's awesome, we love to see all these new guns. But my only issue with the new guns that have come back into the game is they sound exactly like Call of Duty World War II, that sledgehammer games made just only a few years ago. That is my only problem with the guns in the game. They sound exactly the same and they kind of just sound a little bit boring. They're not kind of hyped up and got this, the uh, the boom that they should have. So maybe that's going to be something they're changing in the beta with the audio settings and into the full game, but that is one of the issues that myself and a lot of other people have noticed with inside of the first 24 hours. The FMJ and the incendiary rounds is that even how you say that word? I don't know. But those all of a sudden seem to be the most OP things inside of the Vanguard Alpha. This is Champion Hill if you didn't know exactly what I'm talking about. And basically what you do is you upgrade your guns a bunch of time and eventually you will get the FMJ or the incendiary round. Those two things in the game are too strong. They just need turning down a little bit. And those fire rounds just get rid of them they don't need to be in the game it is the nah. footstep audio inside of vanguard is disgusting like literally if you're running around the footstep audio is like super super quiet and it's just like what is the point of even having these in the game because you can't even hear them at all so uh, maybe the uh, the audio with the footprints just like what i said in like a minute ago or so maybe the audio in the beta and the final game will be pushed up and will be sitting just right and obviously this is an alpha there's going to be bugs there's going to be a lot of feedback from the community so there's all these things that we're bringing out here that they need to know so if you guys ever have any issues make sure you tweet at sledgehammer games they also have like a, a help questionnaire kind of submitting form where you could submit all your bugs and all your feedback and everything so make sure you go check that out straight after this video one thing that has been really annoying me in this game is you can basically see enemies through the wall like if you don't know what i'm on about there's a bunch of well let's just say like this any single wall inside of the game at some point you will be able to see their little red marker through the wall whether that's their name tag or the random diamond red thing above their head at some point in the game you will notice this and if you're noticing it on the enemies, then obviously it's going to be in the reverse order of them going to be noticing you through walls. So it's not exactly the most fairest of things. So that is just something they need to change. I don't know why there's that big red thing on the top of their on the top of the names. That just doesn't need to be there. They might as well sack that off. Just keep it to the traditional name tag above the players' heads. The mounting within this game, you know what? It's actually not that bad. And obviously you look back at Modern Warfare and you somebody says the word mount, that's it, it's automatically they're thinking of a big camp fest. This game actually isn't that bad with the mounting, but obviously this is only a handful amount of players that are playing right now. As soon as you open up to other platforms, maybe on them platforms people play a little bit differently. But what I've seen inside the alpha currently, the mounting and the mount strafing is okay. It's fine, they don't need to touch that at all. I like the strafing with the mounting. That is absolutely fantastic piece of artwork they have done right there. They don't need to touch it. It's it's actually just, it's great. Just, just leave it as it is, because it's not bad. 
in game when you're playing Champions Hill, you're going to be noticing at some point in the game it's going to say you have 10 seconds left. And let's be honest, half the time you don't even know how long you've actually got left inside of the game. But if you look up at the top, just right of your mini map, there is the, the compass that literally nobody uses. The timer is actually hiding behind that. So that kind of just needs to be either pushed up or pushed down. It's overlapping. It doesn't work. It just needs to be moved. But as soon as that is pushed to the right place, maybe even drop it down to the bottom right hand corner or the bottom left hand corner. Put it where people can actually see what the time is or even just put it underneath the mini map. As soon as you put that into a perfect place, people know what the time is inside of the game, how long they got left. That is going to completely change the play style of the people playing inside of the champion hill straight away. Because if people notice they got one minute left, fine, sit back and camp. Doesn't matter. But as soon as people notice they got 25 seconds left and they're three kills behind, then they need to get moving. So obviously, as soon as you move that timer into a more visible position, the game's going to completely change. I know it's just a timer and I, I know it doesn't really mean anything but trust me when you have the timer you know how long is left in the game things change in the game it happens with warzone all the time things change in the game so as soon as they move that out of the way into a more visible position it's probably going to be a lot better tactical sprinting is now back into the game it's one of those things where you double click and you kind of do the your gun goes upwards you start running and as soon as you come up to a barrier which you should be able to run through it doesn't happen sometimes you just run straight into it like a and you don't even go through it you just headbutt the wall you've now got a red nose you've got a black eye and all of a sudden the, the enemies are on the other side shooting through the wall because you just slapped your big fat face on the wall so they need to change that they need to make that like I, li I like it that there's a the, uh, more dynamic feel to it where things explode in the game and basically there's like secret paths you can just like bust your way through the wall that's absolutely fine that's awesome but they need to get it just right with busting through the walls and especially the the you can see the people through the walls and sometimes the walls are there for you but for the enemies it's not actually there so they can see you but you can't actually see them obviously this is a big learning curve this is only the alpha just remember that and all these things will be changed in the beta and I imagine in the beta there's going to be a bunch of bugs once again then they're going to move into the full game and things should be just about crisp and perfect so obviously I have gone over a whole range of things maybe like 10 or 12 different things there and obviously I've missed out so much things but that is all for another video if you want to carry on this conversation head over to my twitter and uh, we can talk about more bugs and feedback there and I will also have all the links down in the description below for where you can be able to submit that feedback and make sure to submit it correctly and make sure you leave all the locations your platform where you live well not where you live but the the area that you live in say you like you live in Europe you're gonna put Europe North America you're gonna put North America make sure you put all the fine details inside of that feedback form and hopefully we will get this game to like number one in the charts where Call of Duty should be so just like I said at the beginning of this video we have a Vanguard giveaway Hit that subscribe button, go down into the comment section, let me know your thoughts, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'm out. Peace.